In this video, I'll teach you all about HoneyBook's automated workflows so you can have HoneyBook do things for you without even having to lift a finger. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer, and I love to teach other creatives how to start and grow successful businesses. A big part of that is having a streamlined client management system, and I have reviewed and tested and educated on so many of them here on YouTube. So check out our client management playlist while you're here, tons of other HoneyBook tutorials, and if you're interested in trying out HoneyBook for the first time, there's a seven-day free trial and 35% off if you use my link, which is in the description of this video. So today we're going to talk about workflows, which HoneyBook calls automations. And the thing about this is you can have it do things without you ever having to lift a finger. So yes, it's wonderful that you can like use three clicks to send an invoice, a proposal, a contract, a scheduler all together in HoneyBook to your clients. But what if you didn't even have to use those three clicks? That's what we're going to talk about today. So the first thing you'll want to do is make sure that all the things you use are set up. And I have some other videos showing you how to set up those things. In general, they're going to be in your templates and your templates can include anything up here, invoice, contract, questions, services, scheduler, uh, payment processors, proposals, etc. So you can do so many things with these. They're collectively called smart files. And I have another video that dives into them if you want to check that out. You'll also want to set up like your packages, your contact form, your email stuff. Um, but once you have all of that set up, you're ready to go into automation. So automations are kind of level two. And if you're at level one with HoneyBook, I definitely recommend checking out uh, some of the other things first. You can definitely watch this video to see what's possible in the future, but it might seem like we're jumping ahead a little bit because we are. So you go to tools and then automations. And when you select a new automation, there are a few things that you can do with this automation. So you can send an email, create a task. Um, you can send a file. Most people now are going to use smart files as opposed to the old kind of legacy files, even for brochures and questionnaires. So typically we'll do the task, the email, or sending a smart file via email. A great place to see what you can automate is using a process flow diagram. I'm going to link a, a download of a free one for you that I have in the description of this video. And once you get into that, you can start kind of circling things like, oh, everyone always asks me what my pricing is. So maybe I can automate an email for that. Um, everyone always asks me uh, how to do addressing etiquette for their invitations. So maybe I can automate an email for that. You can kind of look through your process and see where could a file or an email or creating a task help me if it was just automatically done here. And this allows you to expand your business in so many ways, because if you are trying to manually send that email to every single client, you might not have the bandwidth to do that. You might not remember to do it on time. You might not have time to do it for every single client, but it can, but if you automate it, it can make you seem like a much larger business than you actually are because you have the ability to have so many more client touch points and your clients are going to be so much more happy with you and think you're doing all this yourself, even though it's all automated by HoneyBook. So for instance, we'll do a smart file via email and you can select which smart file template you want to send over. So maybe like a three piece proposal and you can edit it for this particular automation or you can keep it as is. Um, and then you can select all of the different options uh, here. So you can send it via different emails. So this could be like a three day questionnaire follow up email. That could be an email template that I set back in that templates folder at the beginning. Um, and then you can set when this is going to happen. So it can be after the automation is activated, project date, project end date. Um, you can do it after the contract is signed or after a specific smart file is completed, you can send another smart file. Um, you can send it after payments made or after a session is scheduled, for instance. That's a great one. So if someone schedules a session, you can then send them something saying, here's what you need to do pre to prepare for our session. Here's some helpful resources, some questions you might have, etc. So you can go ahead and get all the information to them that they need, or you can collect information for, uh, session. Like I have a smart file that's a coaching questionnaire. So I could send that as soon as they've scheduled the coaching call. So all these different triggers you can use and you can do days after or before, or you can also do minutes, hours, and weeks. And then requiring approval before sending just means you have a chance to look over this before it's sent. So you'll have to go into that job and select that you approve of this and then it will send. So that could allow you to edit things per job if you wanted to. So 
you're basically automating having it in the job already and then you can go and make a couple edits and then send it over. So that's not saving you quite as many steps as if you were templating the entire thing, but it is saving you a couple of steps. So we'll just save this and then we'll do like creating a task. So what task is going to be? Um, create design proofs for Maria. And that would be zero days after Maria fills out her questionnaire. And so we can go in and uh, fill that information out. All right, so if we saved this automation, we'll create, we'll call it the Maria automation because I made her up. <laughs> Save her. And then how would we add them to a job? So some of them will automatically create via the contact form. So uh, you can add the project type question on your contact form and then you apply the automation. So on your contact form, if they select they want wedding invitations, then you'll be able to go ahead and put this custom automation on every single job that selects wedding invitations on the contact form. That's a way to kind of change these up based on what type of job they are selecting. Then in a new project, we'll be able to add an automation right here. We'll select this one and you can do quick apply or customize and apply. And that will allow you to customize things. This one's for custom invitations. It's going to send an email after the first payment saying welcome to the family with some resources. Then after five hours, we'll send this questionnaire via email for their information. And then after that, we'll create the task for me on the back end to design the invitations. And we can apply that to this project and we can view the automation to see where we're at. So this is where I could do, do this now, approve and do this now, et cetera, depending on where we're at in the process. You can always kind of jump ahead on those steps if you want to. So automations are kind of level two and you have to have those files set up. You have to have the projects and the lead captures and the emails set up in order to create the automations effectively. But once you have all of that set up, it's really easy to start finding ways that automations can help you. I promise you, you'll start seeing so many ways that are like, oh, an email here would be really, really helpful. Or clients are struggling with this. Maybe I could provide a little extra information for them. Or I always want them to send me their mailing address at this point. I need to add that somewhere in our automation. And then you always know where that things are being done, even if you're not thinking about them, which is really the power of automations. So HoneyBooks automations are really robust, especially since they added smart files. Um, another great tool that has wonderful automations is Dubsado, and I have a video kind of comparing the automations of both of them if you want to check those out. No matter which system you go with, I definitely have a discount code for you. Uh, so check out the link in the description of this one for the HoneyBook discount code and watch our HoneyBook playlist for all kinds of other tutorials on this wonderful system. Thanks, everybody.